And I, let me shut up because this is what we're all here for. Am I wrong or am I right? Am I wrong or am I wrong? I don't know what I'm trying to say. The boy Archer, bruh. The best thing to happen to fate, bruh. Dead ass. Boys, I had just ended my stream yesterday and I always do my nightly, hourly <laughs> check of Gematsu if there's any new news because I'm just fiending all the time. And I see this Fate Extra remake. Now, I was like, there's a bunch of Fate games that have come out back in the day that it, before I was a Fate fan. So I obviously, I'm not surprised that I don't know about all of them. But when it said something about RPG, where did it even say that? I don't know where I saw something about it saying there's a Fate R. This is the first Fate RPG, and I was like, wait, Fate RPG? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then they dropped this trailer. But before we even get into that, they also said there was going to be a live stream July 22nd. The day I'm recording this is July 22nd, and I think I went to the stream, and it was like five hours. Again, this is like 2 a.m. my time. I'm like, bro, I'm not staying awake for this. In that stream, they gave us nine more minutes, which we're going to also check out. I really haven't watched that. I skimmed through this first trailer, saw my boy Archer. That's all that matters. Long story short, there is a Fate Extra remake being made, Fate Extra record, and it will be coming to the U.S. because the the app the uh, website is in english and japanese for some of you that aren't in tune and are a bit maybe new to my channel i made some fate extella videos back in 2017 when it released i kind of just threw them johns out there on my channel i unfortunately didn't get the link one and the link one i think even had online for some there was something really cool about link that i didn't actually that i wanted and i didn't get it i don't know why but regardless i will not be passing up this one just wait till you see this if you haven't seen it yet like they said this game actually i don't even know what system it was on before what it released on i can't remember but it's got that fate touch you can already tell you know <laughs> and then this music comes in I'm gonna be honest though, Fate always has this... Every time I, I watch any Fate work of art, whether it's the game or it's the anime, I'm always like, there is so much more going on here that I have no idea about. And that's exactly how I feel when I watch this dang trailer. Because this is... I don't know. Fate Go, I don't know, there's too many timelines. I watched that, the Fate Go anime. It was it wasn't bad, but it was kind of annoying. It wasn't as good as the fate um Bro, there's so many Flate. Stay night, there it is. <laughs> the gameplay for this looks very cool. And I th I don't know how much different it is from what it used to be. There's there's games that are like this. I can't really I don't know. Oh you can combo them. Okay, I see I skipped through this when I first watched it. So if they're all red you can use them. Bro, what? This is a cool, because it's obviously, it's obviously turn-based, as you can tell. But I love it whenever these turn-based just do something a little different like that. Are we going to be fighting other? I mean, that would make sense. It's a fate. <laughs> yeah, well, that would make sense if we fight. Yo, they should just throw, say, screw it and give us online. It's like, nah, it's an RPG. Ooh, I wonder how you dodge it. Like, you deflect it. Want... Bro, this, this looks way too good. Because, like, the Fate Extella series, it, w it was pretty good. It was fun. The combat was fun, but, like, it still felt and looked like a bit of a cheaper I, uh, game. The, and I, let me shut up, because this is what we're all here for. Am I wrong or am I right? Am I wrong or am I wrong? I don't know what I'm trying to say. The boy Archer, bruh! The best thing to happen to Fate, bruh. Dead ass. Anything. Let's go. This is my boy, bro. Blade works. Dog. This shit looks so good. <laughs> That's how, that's how you do a trailer, because you, again, you, everybody loves Archer. Everybody loves Archer. Fate Extra Record. It's an interesting way to, you know, kind of title a, a remake. I like it. Like I said, there was a stream happening the day that went when I saw this information. So 
we have a lot. I again, I think I skimmed very briefly through. I, maybe it wasn't even skimmed. It was my boy BK on Twitter. I just saw his little um, thread of what what they talked about. So there is a ton of stuff that they talked about. But let's get into the action. Let's watch that nine minutes, and we'll recap. What's interesting is the lady's voice moves to like Ren's voice in, in, in her expression. I don't know how they did this. Like her, the, the the lady's voice is mapping to Rin's expression, so they're actually they're giving us free roam uh, school gameplay, and they, in in the detail tidbits, I think they talk about the fact that a lot of action happens, not action, but a lot of stuff happens in the school, so you can kind of see how it's really fleshed out. Now, obviously, not like you, not every room you can go in, but it gives you a little bit of Persona Five, um, Persona Five feel when you're in the school. Obviously, Persona Four, but Persona Four is a little outdated, so that's why I use Persona Five. But this one looks even more detailed. Dog, this looks so good. Look at the board. Oh yeah, they did talk about there's a day and night cycle, so you can see that. It's the evening, more so evening now. But what? Are we in school? I always hated that about some Japanese fictions, pieces of work, art, whatever. They're in school so too much, bro. But maybe that's how it is. Maybe that's how it is. Maybe I don't know. I'm uneducated. And they show dark. I mean, it better be empty. And I guess I honestly I feel like they're only doing this just to show you the day and night cycle not per se you're gonna be in the school the whole time but i don't know i have no idea but because what happens if it's majority school and then dungeon stuff i have no idea anyone who's played fate extra let me know educate me bro and we have dungeon gameplay so they said that you're you're um what they call it you're summon after what do they call it um what? whatever the partner, yeah, watch. They, they, they travel in front of you, which is interesting. I've never seen a game do something like that, where because they have to be in front of you. They're the ones that are doing all the fighting. If you think about it from a common, like a making sense standpoint. And then whenever I think about that, I think about uh, The Last of Us Two, the way that like the characters kind of react based off what you do. Like look at that, right? I took her, but maybe it's based off of where you're facing. Because look, she's having a little trouble getting in front of her. So what is this, a battle? Yeah. Some enemies. Bro, this little, this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, turn base? Uh, it's, I like this. Look, so, okay, that's defend. You can see the, the one, the, uh, when she's like that, might be like a magic move or something. I hope they use it. But uh, again, what we saw on the trailer, you can string together the ones that are the same color, I think. I think. Maybe it has to, it has to have a one. I don't know. Maybe they all have one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. So what was that? Okay, that was a buff because I you see critical. You see critical. Interesting. I just really love the graphics. They're just so pleasing to me. It's it's the type of graphics that really captures my attention. You think of Breath of the Wild, the way I'm just in a Ghost of Tsushima mood. So like I'm thinking of Breath of the Wild. That's the most recent thing in my head. It just has that, the, the, the art style, the colors. I love this. I love that shit. What I really liked about the Musou games is how I could play multiple servants, right? This one's going to be RPG style, so it's like, it's going to obviously be focusing on a story. Now, I don't mind this Saber. I don't mind her. She's cool. But I'd rather have the one from Fate Stay Night. But I, but I don't, I think the problem is this is Fate Extra. Fate Extella is not Fate Extra, but like, Fate Extella had this saber as well. But hey, it seems I, it seems like Archer is in all of them. Shiro, Shiro, I forget his name. I don't know. I feel like he's in all of them, which is interesting. So a little bit of exploration. What the heck though? She's just like looking at the air and grabbing shit. What's the what's the backstory behind these dungeons? Why do they look like this? That's another question I have. Yeah, so that gameplay didn't do a whole lot for us, uh, but the trailer was enough, right? So, if we read the tidbits, because I think there's actually good information here talking about the game as a whole, so what to expect and that kind of stuff. So it says, protagonist Hakuno Kish Kishinami speaks. There are both male and female voice options as well as the often turn off voices. Okay, oh, yeah, the, the main character can be either male or female based off what you choose, and then they say that they're gonna have a voice. Oh, I mean, a lot of JRPGs don't do that. I, I personally do like it whenever your main character, the character you're using has a voice, personally. For those asking for a Steam version, while Ninu, I don't know who that is, cannot say what platforms are released, 
on he wants to reach a wide audience you can expect good things so probably pc release definitely world Rob release confirmed also wants to make fate extra ccc but nothing has been decided it is quite the lewd game so he wonders what the best way to go about releasing it nowadays was actually matt in the discord was like somebody i think it was 2k was like i want them to make ccc and then matt this was like, you gotta undress a little, oh God, let's just not go there. Concept of Fate Extra record where Fate Extra, once again, the desire to make a game that can connect to the next one. High quality for people just meeting Fate and Extra for the first time to make it so that players new to the series can enjoy it too and to get people familiar with the Type Moon, with Type Moon Studio B. Let's go. Cause like, I'm obviously a Fate fan, but nothing i don't know bro i don't know much outside of the anime that they've given to us and even then i'm so confused on what's going on so the fact that they want to make fate extra record available and like and, and like welcoming to new people new to fate as a whole that's even better to an extent it might maybe i don't know it's whatever but i i'm just happy right because fate extella the umbral star i felt like i should have known so much and i had no idea what was going on so ninu left square enix and he left to remake fate extra as well as to make other grand title but in order to make that title type, type moon studio bb first needs to gain recognition through fate extra record so that you will be able to look forward to these titles to its title seven years from now this man came from square enix he's like i want to make fate extra let's go started half a year ago novel parts return you can talk to most characters saber will take the lead and go ahead of you in dungeons that's what i was saying earlier the battle system has been completely redone the reason the original had a rock paper scissors system was because they wanted to have servants battle it out in the case of a tie now the battle system is a deck build style system in which commands flow in randomly each turn and you have to determine which is the best to use for the turn while avoiding damage for each battle you win you will get a new command new monsters will appear all scenes featured in the original game will return and then platforms release date yet to be announced this all sounds very very good in my opinion welcoming to people new to the fate series rpg combat that's been sounds like improved as a whole and he wants to continue to do this type of stuff this is the type of thing that i've been wanting and trying to see for fate because like i said i love the anime when i watched unlimited blade works uh zero i was like how am i just realizing and understanding this this series now this was like back in like 2016 2015 so when the game started coming out and I was getting interested in them, I'm like, but I don't know what's going on. And that when the games came out, I think that's when I realized that there is so much more that I have no idea about from the visual novels and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited for Fate Extra Record. Let me know if you guys are too. Probably going to be covering this game moving forward because it is a very interesting title. I, I don't know why. I just stopped right there. But other than that, that's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.